afternoon. Let me turn my jazz down a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to slow down and just share my thoughts. Um, creating this channel has been on my heart for some time. And before COVID, we were traveling out of the country every maybe two, two to three months. And sadly, I don't have a lot of that footage. So the videos that I have posted, it's just kind of what I had, right? But I was just, I don't know, I felt compelled to make a very informal, very impromptu video. Like I'm literally in the car with the coffee. Um, This year for me is about becoming uncomfortable. And I know it sounds super cliche, super corny, but everything that I've been able to accomplish in my life that I consider to be a milestone, it happened because I forced myself to do something that I normally wouldn't do. So let's let's talk about that though. Like, cause I don't want people sitting up here thinking that they need to live a life that they hate because they're doing things that they don't want to do. Like there's a difference between discipline, you know, self uh, motivation or whatever, however you want to say that, but you have to be self motivated essentially. Yes. To understand that long-term certain things are going to be required from you. And during COVID, I just had like a complete transformation. Um, I entered into my thirties during 2020 COVID. I was at the house, but something so beautiful happened. Like I just began to understand and recognize and honor what exactly I want from my life. And I don't think it's, it's ever been attached to one thing specifically, but for me, it was a quality of life. It was what my life looked like what I wanted it to feel like and I've always been very clear about that y'all don't judge me I'm, I'm literally out running errands I'm about to go get my nails done don't judge me so y'all actually see that a little bit later so for me um I'm just really determined to create that life that I want for myself um to be able to help people and to be able to just share my my perspective, my experiences with others. Like initially I was on here thinking like, oh, you know, I want to do travel. I want to do I want to do everything. I want to share everything. I want y'all not gonna get everything, but I wanna share a lot. <laughs> um, I wanna share our travel uh experiences our adventures we have a lot of fun rob and i my boyfriend robbery which you'll see him from time to time we'll we have a lot of fun and we'll do things that i guess i take for granted um and oftentimes i think i take a lot for granted just having a full-time career and being independent but but still in a relationship like you you create this world for yourself that you exist in and a lot of times you are completely removed from a lot of stuff that people are talking about so for me um my goal is to just share i want to share what focus determination and willpower looks like I gained a grip of weight during COVID. Y'all are literally joining in right at the beginning of my weight loss. Um, from December, from the month of December, I'm down about, I would say like 15 pounds maybe. Um, but that is something that y'all are gonna be able to to join me with. Like I, I don't know what everybody else is doing, but I know what my goal is for myself uh, this year my birthday literally marks the half of the year so by the time my birthday rolls around like i'm going to be a completely different person so many things were created and and we initiated for ourselves as far as um a lot of business ventures a lot of things a lot of moving pieces happened last year a lot of things were initiated last year so you will probably see a lot of that coming into fruition as well um 
a complete transformation with me. Like I am just kind of like on some revamp shit. Like I want to change up my whole look. I want to um, just be that person that I am in my mind. And I just want that. I want that for everybody else, you know? And I feel like if you have someone who you feel like is your homegirl, like, yo, I can do this shit too. Cause I'm not on here. I'm not trying to be, you know, like the next person on YouTube. Y'all not going to see me in the same clothes. Isn't that weird? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I'm almost an old head. But like all these girls, they they almost look the same. They dress in the same. They sound the same. They their uh their luxury apartments are looking the same. Like not knocking it, they cute. Y'all are real cute. But damn, y'all look exactly alike. But you know, it is what it is. But I just want to get on here and just be myself. Like we. Uh, in a world where people are trying to tell you how to be, what to say, how to talk, how to sound. I am from Georgia. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. And I live in Pasadena, Maryland. And I will probably never lose my accent. And I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. I'm not against self-improvement. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Evolution needs to happen. Like, you need to evolve. You know what I'm saying? Like... I can't talk to the the same person that I was talking to 10 years ago. Like we, we're not going to have a very long conversation where we're, we're just not like, I need my people to grow. However, there's nothing wrong with being your authentic self and then adding to that. So, you know, in the future upcoming videos, um, I can't tell you what they'll be about they may be you know centered around a hot date that rob and i may have or shit we might be at the house chilling you might go run some errands you might follow me with the workout i might get in my car and talk because i don't know about everybody else i'm literally sitting in my car with a coffee sitting in my car is so therapeutic so if that's you, let me know because I can't be the only one who finds some kind of solace in that. Like I love sitting in my car and just, just, I'm just in here. Like I ain't doing nothing. Like I'm just in here. So if you're here, if you're joining me, thank you. Um, it's going to be a ride because I plan on doing, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting busy within the next few months. I'm putting in some work. Um, I just have a lot of things planned and I just want everyone to know that the life that you want, it starts with you. You know, I'm, I'm an army vet. I got out in 2014. I had no interest in staying in the military. Like my father retired. My grandfather retired. For me, it was just saying thank you and paying my respect, you know, but I got out and even when I was in the army, I was in the IT field. Still am, you know, that's as much as y'all gonna get about that. But I just knew that I wanted to be myself and get paid for it. So here I am being myself, overweight, super vulnerable. Like, honestly, like this isn't the version that I would love to present to the, the world, the internet. Um, you would have caught me 10 years ago, baby. I was popping. I was out here modeling while I was in the army. Um, you know, I was, I was on it, but I wasn't the person that I wanted to be. Like I needed to grow. I had a lot of internal work to do. So for me, if that was the down payment, if me, you know, gaining a little weight, you know, feeling a little iffy physically was the down payment for the spiritual awakening that I was so blessed and fortunate to go uh, to undergo uh that's all right i'm cool with that if that if that was the down payment i'm cool with that you know i'm just entering my 30s career wise career wise Khalil, Khalil. let me drink some more coffee career wise career Career. That sounds weird now. Career. Career. 
what the fuck career career wise i am leaps and bounds you know what i'm saying like that's not even up for discussion but i just recognize that i've always had this this desire to do this and this season i'm just about keeping my word that's all i want to do is i want to keep my word i want to become uncomfortable and i want to do the things that are going to put me in a position to win in a really big way for my people to win in a really big way my family my friends like i don't want to be rich by myself you know that's boring but i want us to live a, a very good life like you know COVID had my head messed up a little bit but <clears throat> i'm coming out of it and life is just too short you know do the things that you want to do pursue the things that you want to pursue Become the person that you want to become so that way you can actually live the life that you want to live. Like, excuse me, like the life that I have. Y'all, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed that most times I don't even tell people what's going on because mugs can't even handle it. Like, mofos really wouldn't probably be my friend. I don't find the, 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 there isn't any use. You know, I, I it's sad that sometimes we have to, celebrate in silence but for me that's the best way like i said but people probably wouldn't even talk to me if they they knew on paper you know because that's what people care about what's on paper like nobody asks you you know are you mentally sound are you good are you okay are you happy are you healthy but they want to know how much money are you making how much this and the third okay well you know that's that's definitely a, a factor for me but you need to be good you know and whatever makes you feel good as long as you aren't hurting anybody like figure that out for yourself so that is what i'm here to do for myself i want to figure out what that looks like for chelsea and if you want to join her, welcome thank you but um it's my necklace stop but let's just have a really dope 2022, man. It's a lot going on out here in the world. And we just have to do what makes us happy. We have to do what, what we feel like is right for our souls. Because I see a lot of people out here making decisions that, that in fact, may be good for their soul. And it may feel good. But a lot of times we can't, you know, we can't lead with emotion. Um emotions are there your gut instincts are there to guide you yes i am a firm believer in that. i'm a cancer so i'm an emotional mofo like to my core but logic what makes sense like sis i'm not gonna get on here and tell you oh yeah go live your best life go quit your job tomorrow and you you don't have a plan you know build something for yourself Create a life that provides options. Create create a life that you can like just slow down. Like I people don't really slow down. And the more that I'm able to, I'm realizing like how much of a luxury this is. To slow down and to figure out what I want. To slow down and say, okay, what do I want the next five years to look like? Some people are out here on auto mode, on autopilot, and they can't, they don't have a choice. They have to do that because their family requires that from them. And I just want, I just want us to be able to slow down and enjoy our lives. And I think that's really what it is. I want to enjoy my life. And, you know, looking at my two little raggedy videos that I posted, like, I remember how fun it was to travel so i can't wait to you know take you guys with us when we start traveling again and i can't wait to just share these experiences with you because sometimes you may want them or it's some people out here watching who may not be able to do that so look if you can live vicariously through me cool but thank you for joining thank you for tuning in we're here we're locked in get the <clears throat> hold on let me some garbage get it locked in because in a couple months i'm not gonna look like this i'm gonna be a different person i'm gonna be closer to what i want to be and i'm just excited for overall improvement so i hope that you guys are excited as well and
cheers to a productive, healthy, happy 2022. Thank you guys for joining and tune in for the next video. Actually, we're going to run some errands. That's why I told y'all before. So I am going to take y'all along with me. So thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for having coffee with me. And if you want to stick around while I run errands, stick around. Thanks. Talk to y'all later. Thank you.